back everyone for some more of my soccer cheese plus career mode for FIFA 22 and we are going to be doing this round of 16 uh, match in the Copa Libertadores against Atletico from Brazil but um, uh, you could probably notice that it is the middle of July which means a brand new season and um, I also managed to get some transfer business done so but before I do that hope you guys have an awesome day today hope you guys are doing well But I'm going to start things here by um, showing you guys the starting budget, which was, which was $46.5 million with 216 k in the wage budget. Take a look at objectives. You can probably notice our manager ratings are on gray right now. But um, youth development within two seasons, have at least one player from Youth Academy play 30% of the games, which I'll show you who that candidate is in just a moment. Within two seasons, decrease the team's experience level by getting average age 28. That is an absolutely ridiculous objective. I'm so glad it's under very low priority because that's that's a really dumb objective, especially in career mode. Uh, sell two players and sign three important players, which, which we sold more than two players, and we did sign three important players, which I'll show you that here in a minute. Uh, finish the season without any unspent transfer budget. Um, they want us to win the league again, which we won't be finishing this season. We'll be finishing the Copa de Bidadores, and then we're going to call it a, um, a career mode. Now the board wants us to go with an unspent transfer budget. Now, I've never actually succeeded in getting this particular objective done, so I don't know if you can just do that by just moving your, um, the slider over to zero, but um, that's what I'm going to do for this. Now I'm going to show you the guys that I managed to sign here. Now all important uh, players, which we did need to sign three important players to the squad. First one is Francisco Ortega. This guy might end up being my new starting left back. He is 75 rated, 23 years of age. I got him from Belay Sarsfield for 20.4 million for just a straight transfer. I got Augustine Palavicino, 77 rated. He'll be my new backup center mid. I got him for 20.2 million. Uh, 25 years of age. Also Argentinian like Ortega. And I got uh, uh, David Martinez, uh, the 24 year old Paraguayan center back slash left back. I got him for a swap deal with um, Carrillo, who used to be a backup center back slash left back slash right back. But. Um, I, I was kind of hesitant about letting Carrillo go, but I thought back, I'm like, this. I just thought he was just too inconsistent for me, so... And I did need to bring in a third and final important team player, so I brought in Martinez from River Plate for a 9.1 plus Carrillo. But, um... But yeah, those are our three starting, um, our, our three backups, which I will be... Showing them off here in the first leg against uh, Atletico from Brazil. Show you some other transfer business we've been able to do. You can see we sold Jimenez to River Plate for 5.5. So River Plate ended up getting both our center backs and Jimenez in Carrillo. Hidalgo, a, a former backup center mid, I ended up selling to Union for 2 million. Uh, former backup goalkeeper Ramirez, I sold to Bournemouth for 1.2 million. And that is all the chance of business that I've done, and that's really all the more that I plan on doing. But, uh, just to show you guys the team. Here's our starting 11, which it hasn't changed since the end of last season. But, our backup team, I got Marquez in there. I'm, gonna, I'm planning on, um, selling, um... I don't even remember what his name is. A Caicedo. I end up, I'm going to end up selling him. But you can see Palavicino, Martinez, and Ortega, our new guys, are in there. And the Youth Academy prospect that the board wants us to play 30% of the games in is going to be Francisco Diaz. He did spend last season over in Seattle. He is a 68-rated player. Uh, we do have a backup in Escobar who is 10 overall higher than him, but... I do want to give Diaz some game time, so he will be playing this game against Atletico. But yeah, I think that's pretty much all I wanted to cover 
before I got into this game here in the Copa Libertadores. So, without further ado, let's gonna go ahead and do that. You can see they're playing with a 4-1-4-1 uh, formation. Let's take a look at their kits here real quick. I think that's... Uh, I think I noticed it's under clear skies. But yeah, clear skies at Stade Municipal. So without further ado... Let's see what our second team does here in, against Atletico. And I should say, too, that I am going to be simming all the Argentinian league games because we've already won the league, so it's not really, that's not a priority to me, considering I'm not even going to be finishing the second season. I, I only plan on doing it to the end of the Copa Libertadores, and I'm going to call it a career mode, so. If I sim all the Argentinian games and... That's not, be, not going to be that big of a deal, but as you can see there, we, Atletico PR are going to be hosting us here in the first leg of the Copa Libertadores. Nice steal by Deneno! Deneno, can you get on the board first? Yes, you can. You can see our youth comedy prospect Diaz congratulating him. Oh, nice steal by Diaz! Or was that Blanco? Oh crap, I shouldn't have shot, but that was a hell of a good shot by Blanco. I was going to say that I, I should have passed it to whoever that was making that run along the right, but... Blanco with the laser finish here. Take a look at this. Good placement. Let's see if we get a better look here. You could argue that the keeper could have done a better job. He actually could have saved that, but... Domingo Blanco getting the second of the game. Dinado doing all the work so far. Oh! Come on, Diaz, can you get your first goal? Diaz! And the youth can be prospect himself, Francisco Diaz, getting his first goal for Saka Chispas. And I'm going to go ahead and send to the result here. See what my second team does. They do, they do get a goal back to Ronnie Gamero, which I don't think any of these guys are actual players because the Brazilian League is not licensed. Our group mates, Lima, with the impressive 2-1 win over Atletico Mineiro. So that's pretty impressive. Our manager rating going up slightly because of that. Okay, Guerra has been loaned out to Platense. Got a couple loan offers there. Okay, Rojas is worried about speculation out in the media. I'm gonna say I'll think about it. Hope I get a chance next time, boss. Not the right game. And Marquez is happy about uh, getting game time, which. For those of you who've been watching his career mode, I do I do feel that he was kind of being shortchanged because he does have a lot to offer. But Escobar, hmm. Manchester City won him on loan. I'm not actually planning on starting him because of Francisco Diaz. So you know what? I'm actually gonna accept that loan a buy from Patronato. Go with a one-year loan deal. Hopefully, um, Escobar goes to City.
Oh, we start the league against River Plate. Oh my god. Um, Julian Duarte. Oh, uh, Valencian won him. Let's go with the one year loan. One bad thing about the ch this being in the uh, transfer window is that I'm going to be getting a lot of notifications. Check a loan agreement. One year loan. I'm going to go ahead and accept that. Okay, we don't get an easy uh, task here this game against um, River Plate. Hopefully our guys could get the job done. Moika, loan offer, one year loan deal. Manchester United won him on loan. And you know what, I'm going to go ahead and accept that. Hopefully he'll get game time there. Let's go ahead and accept. Transfer for Caicedo, 32 years of age, 6.2. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to accept that because he's no longer needed. Ooh! They want us to give... Oh, he's only 81. If, if this would have been like a year or two ago, I would have jumped on this, but I'm going to flat out eject that. Um, Clement Longley is not the player he was on FIFA, unfortunately. But I'm going to sim this game against River Plate. Escobar has been loaned out to Manchester City. That is awesome news. Which means I'm going to change some things out on my... I'm going to put... Okay, they put Rivers in there. Okay. Which is kind of what I wanted to have happen. But anyway, we are going to be uh, hosting River Plate here. This is probably going to end up being a loss, but like I said, I am going to be simming all the Argentinian League uh, games. Yep, and we do get a loss to start off with. I don't think we... Did we lose a game last year? I don't even remember, but Rojas opened up the scoring only for Romero to open up uh, to score a, uh, a minute later and then Ezekiel Barco with the winner. So, not a great start to the uh, Argentinian League. Hopefully it doesn't... Okay, our manager rating is up to 75, so it's not like that hurt us any. Though we probably should start getting wins in that competition, but... Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and accept that offer for Duarte. But we're gonna go ahead, I'm gonna go back to our, our backup team here in this game against... Which DS is up to 69. Duarte loan rejected, Pacheco loaned out, Caicedo has been sold, Riveros. Inter wanted to offer Sensi for Riveros, that is absolutely not happening. I'm going to take a look at Diaz's um, development plan here real quick before we get into this game. Has potential to be special. Not happy with his contract, which I'll get to that when I can. 13 weeks on OK for him. I can, I can handle that. But anyway, we're going to get back into this game against uh, Atletico. Overcast guys, the Via Sodati. I'm going to change my away kit since I wore my home kits last time. I'll leave the away kits on for them. Diaz was modeling our kit, by the way, there. You can see Domingo Blanco was our featured player here. Scored the second goal in the first leg. We have the 3 1 aggregate edge over Atletico here. I keep on wanting to say Atletico, but it's Atletico. Marquez looking for some some support. Deneno with the goal. Oh, 
Midnight Steel by Mendes! Please get something out of this. Yes, you do. That was absolutely brilliant by Mendes. And I think I'm going to go ahead and jump to the result here. And we do keep the clean sheet. Only one substitution for them, but we got the job done against Atletico PR. Lima beat a Mineiro. That's kind of an upset. Um, River Plate taking care of Cerro Porteño. Uh, Tolima taking care of Libertad. Libertad. Cologne beating Deportivo Cali. Soros Field eliminating Tachira. Palmeiras beating Flamengo in the all um, Brazilian derby. And Bragantino knocking on Corinthians. That's kind of an upset. Be interesting to see who we drop against here in the... Uh, quarterfinals. Moika has been loaned out to Manchester United. I don't know what kind of um, game time he's going to get, but but anyway, we are going to send the rest of the games up until the quarterfinals um, against whoever it is that we get drawn up against. You see Bragantino, the big upset for them. Oscar Gonzalez, Tottenham with him. Tottenham are certainly not going to get him. You see that lo that uh, opening season loss, uh, season opening loss against uh, River Plate has us in 15th right now. Our manager rating uh, climbing up steadily. We are going to be on the road against Outer Civi. Quick Simness. And we do get a win. Hill with both the goals. Mavinga scoring for them. But uh, Marquez came on for came on for Granero. So we were able to bounce back. Which our team is strong enough. We really should be tangoing with the, uh, anybody right now. I end up losing my internet connection. Manager rating update. We are at a 77 now. Yes, I get it. My internet is awful. Okay, um, Sue won Blue Wings, want him, uh, want Wurti on loan. Let's see if he wants to go to South Korea. And that one takes us up to 12th. Wow, a lot of teams won. Uh, Arsenal de Sarandi want him now. Duarte is hot property. I just wish he would go somewhere. Oh, look at the door. Who are we, who are we drawing up against? Soccer Chiefs was happy with pa Palmeiras? Wow. Okay. I wouldn't be very happy with that, but it looks like we'll be taking on Palmeiras, the Brazilian Giants, in the quarterfinals of the Copa Libertadores. Yeah, that's not a good draw, especially since some of the team that advanced that, no offense, is much weaker than Palmeiras. So, yeah, we got a tough draw. Okay, we're going to go ahead and accept. He is not going to sue one, apparently. Let's see if he wants to go to Arsenal. Okay, we got another tough opponent in Racing Club here. They're currently ninth in the table. We did win our last game, so hopefully good form carries us into this match. And we get the 1-0 win. Perez ends up... Yes, PlayStation! I know my I have no internet right now. You don't have to keep telling me that. Paolo Vicino came on for Gonzalez, and Marquez came on for Riveros, but... That's two wins out of three. So we're getting close to a Copa Libertadores game here. Which we do have one more 
game here to sim before we get to that. We are now at an 80 rate. Um, Duarte went to Arsenal. I'm not surprised about that. But we are going to sim this game against... Um, I believe that was two. come on. Yeah. Who finished dead last in the... Last time I checked, they were actually on top of the Argentinian Primera División in real life, so... They're having a good season in real life, though. Not necessarily doing well here in this particular career mode, but... I noticed that when I looked at the, uh, um... League out of curiosity, I'm like, wow, okay. See if we can make it, uh, three wins on the in a row here against Tucumán. We are currently 20th. What place are we in? Okay, we are currently 10th, so another win, another win here will help us out. Hopefully we can get the job done. If we do, we get a 4-1 win. Hill with a brace, Grunero with a goal, and Rivera with a goal. Palavicino came on for Perez. But that's where I'm going to leave it here. Uh, next time I see you guys, we'll be beginning the... Our manager rating is now up to an 82, which is awesome. Rojas is happy that he's got his team. That he uh, got his place on the team. But yeah, next time I see you guys, we'll be beginning this uh, quarterfinal match against Palmeiras. So, hope you guys looking forward to that. Which, waste the loan offer. He is our backup goalkeeper. Absolutely no chance. And what what game time would he get at Roma anyways? But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this. Hope you guys are enjoying the series so far. And I'll be seeing you guys again next time.